Ben here in Southbury. There were messages of white supremacy found in several places around town, but this is not the only Connecticut town to see an incident similar to this. And experts say that it points to a larger problem that's being seen across our state and across the country. I think what we're seeing is a rise in hate speech uh, overall uh, in Connecticut and across this country. A concerning increase of incidents involving racism, white supremacy, anti-Semitism, and other forms of discrimination. According to the most recent FBI data, hate crimes rose to the highest level in over a decade in 2020. And the Anti-Defamation League reports anti-Semitism reached an all-time high in the U.S. in 2021. And unfortunately, you don't have to go far to find it. This is the eighth time in the past year that uh, a town in Connecticut has had uh, racist literature distributed on its streets and in its parks, and that's very disturbing for the residents that, that lives there. Southbury, the latest community to be impacted by acts of hate. Pamphlets with messages of white supremacy and anti-LGBTQ rhetoric were found around town. Some neighbors waking up to it right on their driveways. I was furious. My children are black, and it uh, hit literally very close to home. And that was difficult for me to think that um, my children could pick this up and read it and feel some kind of way about themselves. Experts say these extreme views are becoming all too common. When you see very visible instances of it appearing more often and in public, you have to ask yourself why this is. You can certainly point to public figures who now are openly associating themselves and espousing racist views. Which is why the people of Southbury say this is not something that can be ignored. I really believe that if you don't stop it from happening, it will grow, and that's what hate does. Hate is like a cancer. A group called Justice Southbury has held rallies for racial equity and social justice every Sunday for more than two years straight. They were joined by dozens of people this week to send the clear message that hate has no home in their neighborhoods. Love is always louder, and... Um, at the end of the day, love will win because there is unfortunately so much hate and discrimination in this country, in this world. Connecticut State Police says that it is aware of this incident, but no formal complaints have been filed. Coming up on the Fox 61 News at 11, we'll hear from local clergy who are also trying to spread messages of love and acceptance in response to this. Live in Southbury, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.